Okay, so this is take two on this video. Uh, recorded it, started doing some basic editing and realized that there was no audio. For some reason my Blue Yeti microphone decided not to initialize. Anyways, um, it's been quite a while since I've pumped out a video. It's been roughly three months actually. I've been pretty swamped doing deployments and uh, release notes and configuration reviews and things like that so I've been fairly swamped. Um, the good news is I did finish a major 7000 series chassis migration recently so I have a lot more free time now. Um, you know as is everything that's new with Fortinet you're going to run into a ton of bugs right and the 7Ks while they're incredibly badass devices they are in fact very very buggy as far as how they handle things. Um, but there has been a fairly large recommendation um, and you know request out there for certain types of videos specifically how-to videos that help not only explain what to do in order to achieve certain things but to also throw in the why um, Simon Sinek said it best you know you know your why and you'll go so much further so you know and that's applicable as a, a network engineer or a firewall engineer if you know why you have to configure something a certain way. It's going to make your troubleshooting in your life so much easier. Um, I have a ton of how-tos that are centered specifically around like the Fortinet cookbooks that are out there online, uh, mainly because I don't feel they did a good enough job explaining why, or even explaining how. Really, um, hats off to their team. They are putting in a lot of effort to make it as seamless as possible, but there's always room for improvement and. It, the same goes for me. I'm not the best at presenting and things like that. Um, but some cool video topics that I think are interesting to me are specifically more catered towards uh, the more advanced items like ADVPN, for instance. It's a huge push, uh, a lot more redundant, a lot more capable, saves you on resources. Basically, what ADVPN is, is you, know, you have your typical hub and spoke IPsec configuration, right? have your hub and you have your branches. In order for branch A to talk to branch B, branch A has to go up to the hub, which consumes bandwidth, down to B, back up from B to the hub, and then back down to A, and that consumes hub bandwidth the entire time. So if you have an organization that has a larger you know, footprint, your hub better have a pretty beefy, beefy internet connection or else your stuff's just gonna be slow. Um, ID, ADVPN utilizes IBGP and uh, route reflection and basically it gives you the ability to where branch A and branch B get each other's routes through the reflection and they dynamically build IPsec tunnels between themselves so that A goes to B directly, B goes to A directly bypassing the hub as far as bandwidth consumption so um, and there's a couple of different ways that you could deploy that, you could do a, a single hub or a dual hub uh, I just recently got done doing a dual hub configuration for a client and it's, it's super awesome so, um, but it's, it's more on the advanced side. I do have a plethora of, you know, more basic videos that'll help guys get their feet wet and feel more comfortable with the product, right? Uh, mostly centered around troubleshooting. Um, by the time most people get to a FortiGate, they usually have some level of experience with firewalls and networking in general. Um, so while I will have some videos explaining, you know, what subnets are and how to build the address objects the right way in the firewall. We're going to look a lot at like you know troubleshooting SSL VPN and IPsec VPN and troubleshooting why things are running slow. Basically, showing you how to watch the packet be processed by the firewall, because that's going to give you a lot of insight into what's going wrong, and it'll also help expand your knowledge there. So yeah, um, long list. Going to start pumping out videos at least once a week. Um, I'm trying to get the lab set up properly so that I can do more advanced examples versus just you know walkthroughs and things like that. Uh, there, this is the only video for this week mainly because I am going to be having shoulder surgery on Thursday. So I'm going to be down and out Thursday and Friday and probably a good part of the weekend. But videos will resume at some point in time next week. Um, I get the opportunity to go to the Gartner 2018 North America Catalyst Conference. So if you're going to be out there, hit up the comments below. It's in San Diego. Um, it's August 20th to the 24th. Would love to, you know, get together with some folks, have some drinks, hang out, and 
talk shop. So, but uh, any recommendations or requests for videos, please by all means hit up the comment section below. And uh, I know the forums are down. The Fortinet Guru forums are down. They have been for quite a while. There wasn't really a a big interaction level on the on the community side of things, but um, I've I've received quite a lot of request asking to you know fix the captures so we can actually engage which is comforting because I certainly want to build a good community um, the store is almost done so we should be going live with the store very soon which is going to be a huge push because that's hopefully going to give AV firewalls and corporate armor and all those competitors out there a little bit more uh, competition which is usually good for you guys right so but um yeah hit up the comments below make any recommendations if you have questions or concerns uh, you can hit me up through mike at fortinetguru.com or if you need some consulting help or some guidance you know just give me a shout uh, fairly available in the evening so you know just let me know uh, otherwise you know enjoy your products you know keep applying UTM where you need it and segment that network a little bit better so till next time bye